Every now and then we get a product that just excites us because it reminds us of something from our youth. In this case, it's the Zoo's e-bike. This e-bike totally reminds me of when I was a kid ripping around the neighborhood on my cheap old Kmart Huffy BMX bike. But the Zoos is not a cheap old Huffy BMX bike. This silver sleek electric BMX beast is awesome. And we're going to meet up with Jake to see what he thinks and what he can do on this e-bike. So let's go find Jake. Pretty sweet watching Jake rip around on this electric BMX style bike, the Zoos. I've got Andrew here, the e-bike guru, who's going to tell us more about this Zoos electric bike. Yeah, this is a Zoos Urban Ultralight 1100. It's a sweet bike. It's got 750 watt motor in the rear with a peak power output of 1600 watts, weighs 62.6 pounds, a 52 volt 19.2 amp hour battery. So it's just right underneath the thousand watt hours. And for me, I was able to get this up to 33 miles per hour and at full throttle, maxing it out, I got 27 miles of range. We're gonna ride around at our next stop. We're gonna talk about the things that we love about this e-bike. Let's keep riding. I do it. You want to go up to the pavilion? Sure. Yeah, see how it's like, it's sluggish uphill. It has It's got great geometry for balancing, so you can easily just swivel it and pivot the um, handlebars and stay upright without having to put your feet down. There is a slow reaction time when you go to try to push the throttle down. Is it a consistent delay though? If it's consistent, then you're okay because you can get used to it. Yeah, it's definitely consistent. When you go to try to mash the throttle down, you'll see it just took like a second delay there. It's fine if you're just riding normal roads, but if you're trying to hit a jump and you need your speed, it is a little bit delayed. So just be prepared for that one second delay when you mash it down. Yeah. Handles grass pretty well. I love this, that you can like really ride the back seat of it. Man, I love this bike. This bike is a blast. It's got so many cool features about it. The best thing about it is just the way it looks. It's so sleek, so clean, the chromed out look. A lot of people don't even know it's an e-bike. So when I'm riding another e-bike or other PEVs, people are always turning their heads. People don't really turn their heads when they see this. It's kind of crazy. They, they like the way it looks, but they don't realize it's an e-bike. I disagree with Andrew. I think this thing is a head turner. When we pulled into the bike park over there, everyone was like, whoa, what was that? What is that? What is that? You know, it is a good looking bike. This bike is ultra nimble. As you could see when I was carving through that alleyway, it's so fun. It's got an amazing kickstand. The kickstand is actually adjustable, so you can actually adjust it to be standing straight upright or lower, depending on if you're at a weird angle or you have a weird driveway. Cable management is amazing on this e-bike as well. That's why a lot of people can't even tell it's an e-bike because it doesn't even have all that spaghetti wire mess that you see on most e-bikes. There's the cabling plug and play. Not too obtrusive, not too messy. You're able to get it up to 33 miles per hour at full charge. It does throttle down to about 30 miles per hour once you're down to 80% or less. The stopping power is great. The tires are amazing. It's solid. I was kind of expecting it to be a lot of like the e-bikes where I go off curbs and you hear the chains rattling, clunk, 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 clunk. And this one, it's quiet. It's built really sturdy. It's built rigid and it's made to actually hit jumps. It's made to hit curbs. It's made to pretty much be a BMX bike except for the heaviness of it. So really overall, I'm 
in love with this bike. E-bikes in general allow us, you know, allow me, an older gentleman, to go out and do things and enjoy things that I used to enjoy when I was younger and, and more vivacious. But now that I'm older and slower, you know, I'm not gonna go out and, and rip around on a BMX bike, right? But now I can. The B, this BMX bike, because of the pedal assist, because of the throttle, I can enjoy that feeling that I just loved when I was a kid, and be able to cruise around the cities and be able to go far, go fast, and not have to overexert myself. We're gonna keep riding, and while we ride, we're gonna talk about the things that we don't like about this bike. All right, Andrew, tell us what you don't like about this bike. It's not the best hill climber if you're using the throttle only. If you do pedal with it up, it does help out quite a bit and does handle hills decently. It's heavy for BMX standards for sure. It's a little bit harder to jump. As you saw, Jake almost cased it on one of those jumps. It also has a throttle delay when you're moving fast. So if you're moving like 10 miles per hour and you go to smash the throttle, it's delayed about a second before it picks up. Uh, the other thing is there's no front facing light so you definitely want to get a light attachment for it and there's zero suspension so just be prepared for a little bit of a bumpy ride but still a really comfortable bike <laughs> this is so fun <laughs> great stopping power all right so andrew talked about the things that he didn't like about this bike now i'm going to rip it around a little bit more at our next stop we're going to talk about who we think this bike is best for So just riding this, ripping around, I found a couple other cons to this bike. Um, number one, the seat, right? It's low, you know, it feels very comfortable as a BMX bike, BMX style bike, but it's not an adjustable seat. So it's a single height. Jake was riding it, he's about six foot. He didn't have any problems. I think you could even go taller and not have any problems. The other thing is the pedal assist, the cadence. It basically activates the throttle once you've rotated the, the pedals one or a half turn. And if you have it on the highest setting, the motor is so powerful that if you're in a crowded condition, for example, and I'm just chilling, cruising, and then I decide to, to pedal, the, the throttle just goes, it just takes off. You can hear the motor there. And so that could be a problem if you're in crowded conditions. Other than that, once you're used to those things, this thing is a blast. Oh man, this thing is, a joy to ride. One other con that I found too is when you are not using the pedal assist, let's say you run out of batteries, um, good luck riding this as just a regular bike. It's it's heavy, it's, I mean, it feels like riding a tank. Yeah, that's when you can feel it's a real Holy bike. Holy cow, so this is without pedal assist. <laughs> Holy cow, yeah. That's this when you can feel it's an e-bike. Yeah. That's. Okay, I'm turning that back on. <laughs> if you turned it to one, that would probably be the most mild that feels like a regular bike. You definitely need to have that pedal assist to, to ride this for long distances. Andrew, tell us who you think this bike is for. If you love BMX and you're older now, you're in your 40s, 50s, and pedaling just isn't quite there for you anymore, this is a great bike to get you to that feeling of going back to your childhood. Cruising around the street, no worries in the world except for just riding my bike. It's a hot Colorado day, the sun's out, GoPro's been overheating, but I haven't been overheating because I have the pedal assist from this bike. If you want to learn more, make sure to check out ebikepedia.com where you can learn more. Our full written review is there, all right? The other thing too, this helmet that I'm wearing, thank you to Demon for sponsoring us with the safety gear that we wear. If you guys wanna win this helmet, check out the comments below. We'll have the full description on how you can enter to win this very helmet. Thanks for watching, and when you ride, be sure to wear your safety gear.